Hey guys, Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri.com, and this is the box truck talk. So let me show you around the outside of the box truck real quick, show you how it's set up, and show you some cool features. Let's check it out. All right, so first off, we'll do a quick walk around the Isuzu MPR HD. So this is the Morgan body. It's a 20-foot body uh, made by Morgan. You have the reflective strip down there so you can be seen at night. Down here on the corners at the very top, you do have a vent. Now those vents you can close or you can open back up. So in the summertime when it gets real hot, you can release a little bit of that heat, vent the uh, box truck a little bit. And with that being said, you won't have any problems with vapor lock or anything like that because the box truck is vented really well on the inside. On the outside of the ramp at the very top, you got the reflector strips. You have reflector strip down below and also one down here on the bumper. So um, on the back, you do have the handles just like an enclosed trailer or pretty similar. I'll show you that a little bit later, but there are the locks for the ramp. We'll check that out here in a little bit. We'll walk around the outside first, check out the inside of the cab. Same thing over here on this side. You do have the vent up top and the reflector strip. Keep everything cool in the summertime. And you're able to be noticed going down the road at night. So super convenient, super uh, good safety feature. Look at this door, 48 inch door. On my old box truck, I didn't have a side door. I definitely recommend if you're gonna do the box truck option, uh, definitely get the side door. This thing is uh, is super nice. So it has. A little latch right here open the door up I'll show you guys that in a minute but a super handy feature to have check out the passenger's door I'm gonna open it up for you real quick just to kind of show you how wide the door opens I mean there's plenty of space inside the cab door opens nice and wide easy super easy to get in and out of you got a step down here that you're gonna use and then you got the grab handle up top. So we'll hop on in, check out the interior. But first, let's look at this. We have the driver's seat, a little bit of a console with uh, two cup holders, a little tray area to put your keys or wallet or whatever you want to use there. Um, all these seats slide down. So the lay down flat, if you're wanting to store anything, carry anything big in the inside, um, you're able to do that. Comes with the... Uh, the triangles for your uh, your safety triangles comes with that a little bit of storage back there in the back flip it back up easy to do let's hop on in here check out the interior it's super basic super simple design but I really like it that's what I love about this truck it, it's not fancy and it's not complicated there's not a lot of electronics a lot of stuff to go wrong it's just a super nice design I think has uh, two areas here, little storage areas. This one's a little bigger, this one's a little smaller. I kind of put my earplugs in this storage area, maybe uh, my wallet, my keys, whatever you want to stack down there. It's pretty neat. This has a uh, business card holder. So that's where I put my business cards. I just leave them in here. And then uh, if a customer comes by or asks to, uh, to have a business card, I can hop in the truck, grab one, and uh, we're good to go. But anyway, super simple, super clean design. Very basic setup on the dash. Not nothing, nothing fancy at all. So that's what I like about it. This right here is awesome. It's a storage area. So I did not have this in my old box truck. I have it in the new one. You can put your notebook up there. Uh, that's what I usually do. Keep track of my customers, things like that. So that's super handy to have. Another one on the other side. Now let's check out, let's check out uh, this center seat that comes down. So if you flip the center seat down, you have a little area here, and that's where I usually make my notes or write out estimates or, or uh, keep track of customers, things like that, write out checks. Um, you can pull this down, use it as your little work desk. So I love that feature. Got a storage area back here. Put, put a few things in there. Got the fire extinguisher behind the uh, driver's seat. So that's convenient if you need to hop out, 
grab the fire extinguisher it's right there and then over here like i said you have your safety triangle so everything is super simple super clean super easy design i love the uh the interior for sure now let's check out the 48 inch door how's that sound so this step down here it's not the best step it does work but uh it's not the best design not the best setup it's easier to get in than it is to come out so um, pretty high step there uh, the box truck sets up pretty high so it's it's a little awkward coming out but it's kind of easy going in just flip this latch open the door up and there you have access to uh, the inside of the box truck that's what i really love on the old truck didn't have the side door and i always had to uh I always had to put the gate down to get inside the box truck. This way, if you just want to grab a gas can, a small blower, maybe some tools or whatever, you can just open this side door up, hop right in there, and man, you can get whatever you need uh, out of there. So let's check out this door. This door will go all the way back. All the way back. Latches back here to keep it from swinging or anything like that. I'm gonna have to use two hands to do this maybe maybe not flip this up flip this back slide that down everything is nice and secure the door is in place if it's super windy out the door is not going to go anywhere it's going to stay in place so uh, once that's secure like i said this step not the greatest but uh, it does do the job you have a grab handle up here so we're going to grab this step right here and we should be able to swing ourselves in here so uh Let's check out the inside real quick. Then I'll take you around to the back and I'll show you the gate or the ramp. So I just kind of outfitted this uh, a little bit. I haven't really done exactly what I want to with it, but I have done a little bit. I do have a few steel combi system attachments down there. I want to hang up on the side over here eventually, but just haven't had time to do that. Same thing with the handheld blower. I'm going to get a blower carrier for the wall. Going to hang that up probably. But I did get this uh, shelving system. So I think it came with three shelves. I only put two shelves up. So I had the top one, the middle one. And I didn't do anything below here because with the zero turn, I've actually driven the zero turn all the way up to the front wall of the box truck. And that's what I plan on doing. I plan on keeping it like that. That way I can scoot a zero turn up under the shelves if I need to. So I didn't put the third shelf in here. But I did go and get these crates. So I have some crates here. I've kind of stacked those up, fixed those where they won't go anywhere, and using that for storage. I do have a few parts in here, mower parts. I got filters. I've got oil, shop towels. Uh, headphones masks things like that got some clothes here just have in there for now for the winter time um, got my measuring wheel my tool bag then over here I got my tools my grinder wrenches and a set of tools got my lawn bag over here hanging up on the side up top I do have my big leaf bag another crate full of uh, things I might need for the winter so all that is kind of that's how I've kind of set that up for now. I do have the hedge trimmer just sitting up there right now. I plan to put it on the wall eventually. Just haven't had the chance to do it. So let's check out the mowers here, how they're set up. Everything is nice and clean in here. You can put three zero-turn mowers in here. If you push this mower all the way up to the front, you can put three full-size. This is a 60-inch Toro zero-turn mower. You can fit three of those in here. So I've done it and it's plenty of room with the uh, 20 foot box. But anyways, right now I do have the Toro zero turn in here and I had the Ferris Z3X. Now I just received this echo blower uh, here lately. So I haven't had a chance to get the blower rack put up, but I do have two blower racks over here with the Red Max 8500. And the steel BR700, I have the equipment defender racks. Everything is nice, secure, tight against the wall. I really love these racks. Check it out. I put the tube pointing up on that one, pointed that one to the side. But uh, I haven't really decided how I'm going to 
mount the Echo PV8010, but gotta put it over there somewhere. Let's check out this ramp from the back. So here is the aluminum ramp for the box truck. It does have the spring assist, like a garage door up there on the top. Um, I'll just kind of show you this real quick. These are chains that are covered with this uh, thick material to keep from scratching everything up, but one on each side. Let's show you the trimmer racks. I have the trimmer rack all set up over here on the right side when you walk in the back door. Um, four trimmer racks, got the Jungle Gym uh, trimmer racks. Have my two gas cans down there. Now I plan on doing something a little different with that in the future, but for now uh, that works. I really haven't had a whole lot of time to mess with setting the box truck up, but just kind of want to show you guys what it looks like right now and what I've kind of done with it. Now I did show you the vents on the outside of the box truck. Here they are from the inside. You got four holes, the vents right there. Same thing over here on the other side. So. If everything gets hot in here, you can open those up, close them off, do whatever you need to, to keep the inside kind of controlled. Now, up here, look at this. Look at this roof. Light comes in, so it's not dark at all. This is during the middle of the day. Um, if I were to shut that door, it still wouldn't be very dark in here. I do have that door open, but I'm telling you, all this uh, light is coming in from the top, so, when you're in here in the box truck, it looks pretty bright. It does have an LED cargo light in here in the box truck for nighttime shine down here. It's uh, it does okay, but with this box truck being 20 feet, I really need to put another one up front and maybe one back here in the back because uh, I think I'd give it a little bit more lighting. But it is super bright. But if you're really wanting it to look like it does here in the day at nighttime you might want to add another light. But anyways, guys, this is the inside of the box truck. Let me go back out the side door. And like I said, it's a little tricky going out the side door. But we'll head to the back. We'll check out the ramp. So back here in the back, we have two, one, two, locks here in the back i'm gonna get my key real quick and i'll show you how to uh, unlock this from the back so like i said you're able to lock the latches here in the back one key unlocks both sides so that's nice both locks are keyed the same have that little flap on there to expose the lock let's get this one unlocked latch is super easy to undo now that the two latches are unlocked let's go ahead and drop this go gate to lower this ramp down man it only takes like 12 seconds with one guy maybe takes a little less with two guys but uh, let me show you how to lower this uh, ramp real quick And that's all there is to lowering this aluminum ramp. It's super easy, it's super light. I mean, one guy can do it, I can do it with one hand. Um, I don't struggle with it at all, it's not heavy. And uh, you know, it's, it's definitely way better than the last setup that I had. Uh, before I had two bifold ramps, uh, one on each side, had to fold those down and fold those out. This works a hundred times better. This is actually the main reason I wanted this particular box truck because I love the ramp. I love the design. It's super wide and uh, it's super easy to use. So let me show you guys real quick. Let's go up the ramp or walk around the ramp and I'll show you a few features that they use on this particular model. So this uh, design has the heavy duty cables here on the spring assist. It helps lower this aluminum gate down nice, slow, steady, and without uh, coming down on top of you. It has these chains as a safety measure in case anything were to happen to this. Uh, this is going to this is going to take care of you. It's not going to allow it to come down and crash on top of you. So um, looking at the ramp from the back here, you do have these handles on each corner. Have one here, one on the other end down there. You're going to use these handles to flip the ramp back up and fold it on up. You do have uh, the safety strips right here with the reflective tape 
also you have it up there as well going all the way up the ramp so if you have this ramp down at night time uh, cars are coming they're coming up behind you maybe you're finishing up a job really late at night they're going to be able to notice these safety strips so that's definitely something to keep in mind now check out this down here i don't know if you can see it or not but these uh this design right here is raised up just a little bit it allows traction for your zero turn mower um, i've actually driven my motorcycle up in it as well it holds grips really well and it helps uh, getting up and down the ramp especially uh, when it's wet also now this portion of the ramp made a little different it has these uh these strips kind of feels like sandpaper um, gives you a little bit of traction i've only had it one season it's kind of wear it out in places so that's something i may have to replace maybe uh, every season or every other season we'll see how it holds up but this just allows you to uh to get up into the box truck with your mower or uh, you know just walking up and down uh, back and forth not allowing you to slip so plenty of traction i've never felt like i was going to slip i've never been on the mower and it's never uh uh, spun on me or anything like that so it has a whole lot of traction let's walk up into the box truck here it has this diamond plate chrome plated um, lip here and that's going to allow your deck to go up and over uh, as you can see a little bit over here it's scraped over the uh, course of one season scraped a little bit but nothing too serious this side over here there's really no uh no issues at all. It's mainly on this side where the deck hangs a little bit farther over on the mower and your deck's just that much, you know, just a little bit lower maybe on this side as you're loading it up. But anyways, that is the aluminum ramp. Here is the view coming into the back of the box truck. Nice and open, especially when you get this back ramp open. Looking back down, it's not steep at all, easy to uh, unload and load the mowers up. I'll go ahead and actually do that for you here in a second. I'll unload one of the Ferris Z3X mowers, show you guys how easy it is to load and unload. Uh, on my old box truck, the ramp was a lot steeper than this. So when you were down here at the very bottom, you kind of had to angle the mower uh, a certain way to get it up into the box truck and pull it on up the ramp. Um, this way, you're not going to have to do that. So I uh, definitely like this ramp set up a whole lot better. It's a whole lot nicer. i um, gonna going to hop on the Ferris Z3X, though, unload it for you, show you um, exactly how easy it is to back this thing down. So uh, stay tuned. So now that I showed you guys a little bit about the ramp on the back of the box truck, let's try to put this ramp back up. Let's see how easy it is. And that's all there is to it, man. It's super light. Super easy to lift up. One guy can do it by himself. Two people, maybe a little quicker, but um, for one guy, it's uh, it's an aluminum ramp, so it's super light and it's easy to get up in there and tucked away. I really like how it's it's tucked away on the back here. You really don't even notice that it's a ramp. A lot of people don't even realize there's a ramp tucked in back here, but that is the coolest feature on this box truck. But all right, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate you checking out the uh, walk around on the Azuzi NPR HD. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions about the box truck, about the setup, um, you know, about how it runs or works or operates in our lawn care business, just sh shoot me a message. Shoot me a message, man. Let me know. I'd be glad to answer any questions, help you guys out. And uh, 
That's part of the lawn care community, man, just helping others out, right? So I'm Cameron with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri.com. Hope you guys have a blessed day, and as always, God provides. Thank you.